Hi guys, Android Andy here. Um, I've got a accessory for the Galaxy S3 to show you today. Um, one of the most hotly debated topics on any new phone is the battery. Almost always people are talking about battery life. It's a big bugbear for a lot of people with Android. They moan the battery life isn't good enough, um, which I can understand. I've had some phones where I've been very frustrated. I don't quite make it through to the end of the day and I'm, I'm, I'm balancing on the very teetering on the edge um, of power in my phone. There's a variety of different options. You get a spare battery, you get an extended battery, um, or you get perhaps a, a, a mobile portable charger where you plug it into charger when you need. Um, this is kind of a, a bit of a combination of an extended battery and a, and a portable charger in that it it fits in the one the one problem I did find like for example I went to the Olympics and I was taking photos with my DSLR I was transferring them to my phone it's quite power intensive um, and after a few hours I did need to plug in my portable charger but that meant anytime I was using my phone be it taking pictures or looking things up I, I was kind of holding the two devices together and it's a little frustrating um, so this here the power bank kind of uh, eliminates that problem. So I'll give you an example. I was at Wembley this Sunday watching the American football, the NFL, um, in a similar scenario, I had my DSLR, taking lots of pictures, using my phone to look things up and to post these pictures all over all over the internet. Um, and it does start burning through battery. So even before I hit about 80%, I thought, right, let me get out my power bank. And I, and I plugged it in and and, and use the carry on using the device. There's no downtime. There's you know no problems, and it gradually charged it back up, even though I was using it pretty heavily. So the uh, the actual packaging is very very smart, very good. If I can get it out, it's a good sort of perspex container. Let's read some details off it while we're here. So it's a 22, uh, 2200 milliamp hour capacity. Apple voltage five volts. It's only a five milliamp rather than your, uh, oh, sorry, 500 milliamp rather than the one amp that you might get off a, like a wall charger. And charge time about five hours, which actually, yeah, I think it was. It, it, did, it was about five hours charging up. Um, so this is the device itself. It feels kind of rubbery. So it's, it's a good texture. It's quite a sort of, I wouldn't say sticky. It's not sticky by any means, but it, it's a good, you can grip it well. Let's put it that way. Um, down there is the is the micro USB socket that obviously the phone's going to slot into. You've got a power button with the lights. I'm not sure what that one is. I thought maybe a speaker, but I don't know. I don't know what it does actually. Um, doesn't say on the back, does it? I think so. Uh, so to use it, we pull so that extends. We slide the phone in. And then we close it down on it. So there you go, that's it in place. We can carry on using our device as normal. It's not charging at this point just because I've plugged it in. So you could, if you're off on a long day out, you could just set yourself up like this as you go. It does make it feel a bit heavier. Um, I think the device weighs, I think it was about 100, 100 was it 100? 30 or 180 grams it's so it is a reasonable weight so it, it pushes your phone up to about sort of 300 grams it does make a difference definitely um, but at the same time I gotta be I didn't really notice it when I was when I used it on Sunday I, don't, I wasn't kind of oh my god my phone's so heavy you don't you don't really it's still you know 300 grams still isn't a great deal um, still less than a tablet and you know things like that um, I'll show you while we're here as well there is a little sort of stand there in the back we can fold out to If we wanted, if we're watching a movie or something, there it is. It seems pretty generally relatively sturdy, um, and it just folds away again. Click it into place. The camera isn't obstructed at all. Let's see if I can show you that. As you can see, camera's fine. Well, I don't know if you can see all the reflection off the screen there. And if we turn the flash on. Okay, I thought it would flash with it being on, but let's turn it actually all the way on. There, you can see that uh, that flash is no problem. We get no issues with the image. 
Um, so you're using your device as normal, and you think, okay, it's, it's worn out a little bit. Let's let's charge back up. We simply turn it on. You see the four lights have come on. The the first one is flashing, and you see the charge symbol at the top. You go to battery and there it says charging USB. So from my testing some figures on how well it charges. Um, I plugged it in, it takes about, let me see, so I plugged it in last half past eight and it was fully charged by quarter past eleven. So we're looking at about three hours to, to, to spend its charge. Um, I plugged it in when it was at 14%. And in those three, well, yeah, three hours, it went up to 72%, um, which is, oh goodness, I'm going to have to do some maths. That's 58, 58%, which I think was a pretty consistent. Uh, the very first charge I did, it went up about, well, no, I'm almost exactly 58% in three hours. So, I mean, I tried, you know, I did a few cycles to see if it got any better over time. The fifth cycle was the same as the first. It went up 58% in three hours. So it doesn't fully charge, which is a bit confusing. You think, well, it says 2200 milliamp hours, and I think the battery's only 21, so why is only 58% going? Unfortunately, you do get that with all these uh, these type of battery charging devices. You know, if you get a 5000 milliamp hour portable charger, you're probably only going to get about 3000 milliamp hours out of it in, in respect to your battery and your phone. Um, you know, you get maybe one charge and a, and a small bit if it's a 2100 milliamp hour battery. So, uh, yeah, you're not going to get a full charge of it, but it's going to extend your battery by, you know, almost almost six tenths. Um, it takes three hours to deplete and then five hours to charge. It's kind of odd. You charge it though, this one thing I like as well, just with a regular micro USB. Um, so you don't have to carry on an extra charger. Your phone charger will also charge the power bank, so that's very handy. And also, when it's in this, if you plug a USB into that into your computer, you can still access all the information, all the data on your phone. So it can live, it could live in this, really, and, and you just sort of... I'm not sure what happens as far as if I... when this depletes, and I charge this. So yeah, I guess it's just going to charge this, but I could leave it, I could then turn it on again to charge this, and then charge this. Oh, it gets a little complicated, and you're better off charging them both individually, separately, I believe. But... Um, it's, it's a good build quality, it's a sturdy feeling device, it's, it's, it's good texture, it means you can grip your phone very well. I suppose the one downside, it feels like you're being impeded getting to your, some of your keys. So it feels a bit like that's hard to press the power, but I can press it without having to try and you know get the end of my finger. Now I've got quite big hands, but hopefully I, bet I can get in there without too much difficulty. Um, but it, you know, it fits snug in there. It is a well-made product. Um, nice design, the S3 on the back there as well. The, the cutouts all fit very well. Um, I suppose it feels a little bit odd in that you've got the edge of your edge of your phone there, and then slightly wider but deeper down is the is the power bank. So it just feels a slightly odd in that it's I don't know, it kind of curls round to get to the phone, but. You know, almost, almost like the phone's sort of sitting on top rather than in it. But it's not an issue, it, you know, it's flush where it needs to be. Um, and all around a good device. So that's the power bank from, you can get it from mobilefund.co.uk. And I believe it, at the time of writing it was £25, but they, they do change. In fact, let me just double check real quick the price. Okay, I've double checked, it's £29.95. Um, you could argue you're better off getting a couple of extra batteries. Uh, uh, you know, some people prefer that. You do have to shut your phone down, swap them over, carry on. I like that you can just carry on using your phone, just turn this on and off when you need the extra bit of juice. Um, if you compare that price to the portable batteries, they're normally at least about 25 as well. You get a bit, you do get more milliamp hours in the portable battery, but again, you've got that, you know, you've got to hold a second device while it's charging. Uh, it really depends on your, you know, what you need it for, um, whatever your use case is. I think there's quite a few people that this will suit their need, and at 29.95, it's not extortion. A price is, you know, that's a, that's a good price. So uh, there you go. That's the power bank for the Galaxy S3 available from mobilefund.co.uk. 29.95. Android Andy signing off.